You know the nightmare scenario for chief executives is today? My business is going to get taken over by an app. Somebody's going to Airbnb me, and I'm going to have to pack up shop and do something else. So the world we live in is a world which is called digital transformation. And it's a convergence of machine learning, of robotics, and of something called the future of work. And those are the things that keep change leaders and business CEOs up at night worrying. I'm Paul Givens. I'm the author of Impact, using science to change behaviors, hearts, and minds. Impact isn't a strategy book, but strategy is the backdrop for the book. So what's the book about? How can you change your organization fast enough in response to these complex scenarios? How can you keep up with digital transformation in the future of work? What are those things? Are the tools you use to do change in the 1990s up to today's challenges? Well, that's what we do. So we look a little bit at megatrends, and then we look at digital transformation in the future of work. We move right into what are the myths that are clobbering change in your business and which do you need to discard, and then into some new models for leading change that are useful in this century, that make use of digital tools, that take into account millennial culture. They don't communicate the way the old people from my generation do. So how do we do that? We use behavioral science. And there's a new role called the chief behavioral officer, that one that couldn't have been anticipated five years ago. Almost half of the Fortune 500 companies have someone advising them on chief behavioral officer sort of level at the moment. So behavioral science can produce very big changes in human behaviors, sometimes with very small tweaks to the environment. It's also amenable to A-B testing and split testing, which is something that uses more science to evaluate results. So how do you influence in a world where people are inundated but with information from different sources, where your message as a change leader competes with multiple sources, where people aren't just listening to you, they're listening to other people on Slack and on Twitter? How do you keep up with that pace of change? And then finally, the thing that we have to worry about is, again, cognitive biases. How do you de-bias your organizations? In one of my first books, The Science of Organizational Change, we talked about cognitive biases, but now the conversation has shifted to how do we de-bias ourselves as leaders? How do we de-bias our teams? How do we de-bias our businesses? And so that's the book. I'm sort of a roving scientist. The book's behind me, neurobiology, sociology, psychology, philosophy, mathematics, political theory, medicine, lots and lots of subjects. And the point of the book is to harness all of that knowledge in one place so you can make use of it. But I'm not an academic, even though I've been a professor. I've been in the trenches for 40 years. I've been a banker, a consultant, a CEO, and an entrepreneur. And so the book is practical, using the best science, but applying it in a practical way. So if you like the idea of the book, Impact, Using Science to Change Behaviors, Hearts, and Minds, is on sale. You can click the link below on Amazon. You can click the link on my website if you're watching on my website. I want to thank you for listening. 